Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I can't bring you the latest goings on with the Inghams because there have been no latest goings on because Chris last night, God help him, <laughs> he forgot how to, um, yeah, he, he forgot how to, to, to YouTube, didn't he? Uh, yet again. They um, didn't upload, and this was his excuse. He said, so sorry, guys, as there's no video on YouTube from us today. Now, I'm not quite sure where else there would be a video, because they only do YouTube, right? My MacBook took a dip in the rain and stopped working yesterday, so haven't been able to edit anything. Oh, that's okay, Chris, don't worry. I just so happen to have found your MacBook. Here it is, floating down the River Trent. Uh, where you left it, you know? Um, but it's all okay. We'll be back as normal tomorrow. Yeah, because I forgot about that magic power that Apple have, that only Apple have, mind, that uh, when it gets wet and it stops working for whatever reason, all you have to do is uh, turn it off and on again, and the next day it'll be just perfectly fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I, you know, just got to let it cool down, wait for it to warm up, dry out. <laughs> you know, it'll be fine. Nothing will be wrong with it whatsoever. <laughs> oh, my words. So I have things to say, right? So first up, right? If his MacBook has indeed gone kaplunk with the weather, right? Um it's not necessarily going to be okay for tomorrow is it let's let's be honest it is dead so it's not you can't say oh yeah but it will be right for tomorrow when you can't you can't guarantee that because you don't know if it's going to work again do you or if you, uh, i don't know secondly why why would anybody take a macbook into alton towers why would they do that why would you take a MacBook into a theme park? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, Chris. I'm not sure anybody else would do that. Um, can I ask why <laughs> you did that? Because it seems a little bit um, stupid, let's be honest, because you're there to enjoy yourself. You're there to enjoy your, your daughter's birthday, if nothing else, right? And yet you decide to take a MacBook, what, to, to edit or what, do what with? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Just leave it in the van. You took the caravan, was it? To leave it in there. Honestly, fucking ridiculous. Thirdly, um, just to debunk this even further, but if you hadn't been able to edit yesterday or today, it wouldn't actually make any difference because you're about a week ahead. So you would be able to just use the, the pre-edited footage that you edited about a week ago right so none of this actually matters your excuses because even if by some miracle chance you were stupid enough to take a macbook into alton towers and then it got wet and it wouldn't work you'd still have footage plus plus may i remind you that just about every one of your family have their own MacBook. <laughs> so I just transfer it on to them. Oh, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's something you can do. <laughs> I remember the days, in fact, when you used to go out of your way to get your vlogs up on time for your fans because you didn't want to let them down. Do you remember this time you were on your way to some event or some place? It was um, Legoland Windsor you were going to, but you got stuck in London, right? And you did everything that you could in order to get your vlog up in time. Arrived into London's King London King's Cross. We should be heading over really quickly to get our connecting train. However, we are having to stop because we have had some technical issues with tonight's vlog that should have gone up at 6 p.m. <laughs> we tried to upload it on the train the whole way here, but obviously on the train signal was horrendous. So we're stopping here outside London's King's Cross. It's really hard to say that London King's Cross. No, it's not. And we're uploading the vlog. Chris is, well, it's sunny, working hard there. The girls are just stood here. And basically, I just wanted to let you guys know we're really, really, really sorry. 
sorry, but as you can see, instead of rushing for our connecting train, we're not. We'll just get the later one. And instead, we're stood here, hoping to get the vlog up for you guys. It's currently 40 minutes late, is it? Yeah. 40 minutes late, we're so sorry. And even, yeah, even in the middle of London, where we are, where we are right now, it's, there's no 4G, so it's making it extremely difficult to upload it. But fingers crossed, guys. We're doing everything we can. See what I mean, Chris? You actually stuck outside the, or you stood right outside the train station in the middle of London because you wanted desperately to get your vlog up in time and you didn't want to let your fans down. And now I'm not advocating for the fact that you made your kids wait around just so you could get a vlog up and everything, but it just begs the question why why wouldn't you do this now you know we've not got any fans left to be bothered about is that what it is these days anyway aside from that there's a little thing going on at the moment on tiktok and um sarah has joined the, the barminess that is tiktok and she's getting ripped apart she put up one video so far it was a haul of Ayla's birthday, what Ayla was getting for her birthday. It was an absolute classic. It's gone viral. Here's everything I bought my daughter Isla for her 12th birthday. Like lots of girls her age, she loves Taylor Swift and I bought her this 101 facts about Taylor Swift book. She loves these play suits from Next and I found this short version one that I thought would be perfect for summer. She asked for some nano tape and I found this selection pack on Amazon. It comes with four different nano tapes, lots of different accessories and then a little device to blow up the tape. Now, these tapes, right, have caused some commotion in the comments, and I want to point this out because it's a perfect reason why Sarah is just stupid, taking her shit to, to TikTok and not monitoring things because she is throwing her kids under the bus once again. Somebody innocently asked, what is the nano tape for? And um, apparently you can make shapes, etc., out of it, etc. But then somebody replied, her boobs. That's right, her boobs. The tape is for her but This is a 12-year-old child you're talking about. About a child. A child. That's right. And Sarah's allowed this to happen and allowed it to be... Well, it's still there, in fact. And it's, something tells me that Sarah won't be removing it unless she gets told about it so I'm telling her about it now that's one of the main reasons I decided to do this video because I would like to draw her attention to such things in her comments about her children that's right um, and as people have replied to to this person saying that it's a 12 year old and what the fuck are you doing and it's not funny somebody else is laughing about it you know so it's a big thing you know tiktok comments are brutal and sarah needs to take a hold on them or not bring your shit to tiktok or anywhere else on social media as it happens but people are also trying to draw attention to yet yeah, more of the bullying the louis capaldi thing as you may remember she's been bullied about looking like louis capaldi allegedly and people are bringing it to sarah's comments and sarah's not deleting them because why would she it's all engagement isn't it sarah it's all engagement never mind that your your child has been bullied but uh, you know as long as you get your engagement that's fine she loves high smile and has been absolutely desperate for one of these electronic toothbrushes for a while now so i got her one in pink as well as some toothpaste i got her this cinnamon donut one this cherry one i got her the blue raspberry and i also got her the cotton candy one as well i noticed sol de janeiro had brought out a new scent so i got her the bottle in 260 ml i love that she's still creative and likes playing with slime and she'll be receiving this unicorn slime kit for her birthday she requested a new perfume so we'll be receiving this ariana grande cloud perfume which i'm sure she's going to love she recently discovered lego and i got her this lego creator set it looks like so much fun and she can create three different projects with this including a roller skate and a boom box and a skateboard and i bought her this set as well that she can create create three different pieces of technology. I think she's really going to enjoy making these and I love that she'll be able to create different things. 
I also bought her this Squishmallows tumbler. It comes with some lollipops inside. And then I got her a selection of flip-flops from Primark for summertime. These are so cute and I think she's going to absolutely love them. They were also a real bargain at around £3 per pair. I got her this two pack of hats also for summer and then a selection of t-shirts and shorts that I think she will really like. I also picked her up some extra t-shirts as well as this two-piece set that was also from Primark. It came with a cute top and some lilac cycling shorts. She saw this dungaree set in Primark a while ago and didn't buy it so I went back and bought her it for her birthday. I can't wait for her to open this set. I absolutely love the colour and think this will be perfect for summertime. My daughter's just like me and loves new pyjamas so I bought her this three pack from Next. And then also from Next I got her this cute shirt and leggings set. She also likes white fox so I picked her up this hoodie and these matching cycling shorts that I thought were such a beautiful colour and would be perfect for summer. And then I also got her this dark grey and baby pink set. I think these are absolutely beautiful. She requested these, the summer I turned pretty set of books. It comes as a set of three and I know she'll really enjoy reading these over summer. And then I found these summer I turned pretty nail varnishes which I think she's going to absolutely love. She has no idea I've got her these so I'm really excited for her to open them. And how adorable are these little nail stickers to go with them as well. She loves Converse, so I had to pick her up a new pair of Converse. So I bought her these cute baby pink platform ones that I thought would be perfect for summertime. She's been asking for a personal juicer and she's going to be so excited when she opens this gift. I bought her some mini verse. She absolutely adores these. I actually bought her three in this mini food make it set and I bought her one of these. It's a larger ball and I think she's going to really enjoy opening these. And as I said before, she is still into creative slime kits. I actually bought her these for Christmas, but didn't end up giving her them. But I got her this one. It's like a pie creation kit. It comes with lots of different accessories and things like that. And then I got her this waffle one too. Pretty much the same as the other set. Comes with lots of different fun accessories to play with. It's kind of become a bit of a funny tradition in our family for Isla to get ring pops on her birthday. So I picked up a box of those. As well as this cute set of lip oils that I think she'll love. And I think she's going to freak out when she opens this package. It's the Dior Lip Glow in Strawberry and she has no idea she's going to be receiving this on her birthday. I bought her this Lego Friends set. It comes with so many different pieces and I think she's really going to enjoy putting this set together. Doing Lego together is something that myself and Isla like doing and we both love fairgrounds so I think this set will be perfect for us to do together. And this is her main present this year, a Meta Quest 2. I've got absolutely no idea how these things work, but I know Isla is going to be beside herself when she opens this on her birthday morning. It looks like so much fun, and I know our family will have so many hours of fun playing with this together. Here's everything all wrapped up, and I'm so excited to celebrate her special day. We love you so much, Isla. Now, it does appear like Sarah is trying to rebrand of some description. You know, she's trying not to use her family name. The, t the name of her, of her account is The Real Sarah Says, or something like that, yeah? Um, no mention of the fact that she's in Ingham. She doesn't even feature herself in the video. But, unfortunately, Sarah, none of this is going away. As people kindly point out in the comments, um, her husband, Chris Ingham, is a... Um, one of those it was confirmed by police in news now obviously it wasn't entirely that he in the news that he was at one of those but the fact is on tiktok people will say these things and they will bring things to you sarah that you may be trying to hide right you can't hide it tiktok will and they will call you out for it every single time and these things will not get <laughs> removed uh, very lightly by TikTok. Um, so be prepared for that. Somebody else here said he's a cheating be the run away as fast. <laughs> run away fast, man. Um, yeah, so as you can see, many people are calling them out and it won't go away. Remember, remember when Chris tried to have his channel and he just got called out over and over and over again. Um, but it's just not going away. That's the problem, Sarah. I'm sorry. Now, I'm not going to call him one of those. Because, um, fortunately for him, the person was over the age of consent at the 
time, barely legal, shall I say. But, you know, the, the fact is these are not going away. I'm sorry. But what is more embarrassing here is you are getting kids arguing in the comments, right? about the toys and how um, embarrassing it is that you've got i don't know what you've got her now obviously i have no problem with the things that you got her but people are having an opinion and um they're being very vociferous about it actually um but again these are the sort of things that you are allowing to continue to fester in your comments all these arguments and basically hating on your kids and it's not really right, is it? Your kids really didn't do anything wrong in the first place. I don't think. Unless you blame them. And that's why you're throwing them under the bus time and time again. You know? Um, which, let's face it, is pro probably close to the truth. Anybody to blame but yourself, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, that's all I wanted to bring you today. Because um, not much going on in the world. So, um, yeah, if you've appreciated this, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Until next time, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.